Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at what happens when we vary parameters in our confidence intervals. So we know that our confidence intervals are centered around our point estimate. They have a margin of error that goes from the left to the right of the point estimate or extends down to the left and extends up to the right. And that margin of error is dependent upon the confidence level and our sample size. So I wanna look at what happens if we change the confidence level, what does that do to our confidence interval, and also what happens if we change our sample size. So we're gonna vary those one at a time. So here we have kind of a graphical picture of our confidence interval. We have our center here at our point estimate, and then we have our margin of error reaching down to the left and up to the right. So first thing that I want to change is our confidence level. Currently, this is set at a 90% confidence level. So let's look first at what happens if we get less confident. So if I drag my slider down and now I'm 85% confident, and then a little further down becoming 78% confident, what we notice is that our interval becomes narrower. And that is because the wider the interval or the wider the net, the more confident we can be that we have in fact captured the true parameter. So if I increase my level of confidence, we can see that our net or our confidence interval gets wider. And if I decrease my level of confidence, I can see that my net or my confidence interval decreases or gets narrower. And of course, those same statements can be made about our margin of error. As we become more confident, we have a larger margin of error. And as we become less confident, we have a smaller margin of error. Okay, so I'm just gonna reset this back to a 90% confidence interval. And let's look now at what happens as we vary the size of the sample that we work with. So right now we are set at 30 for our sample size. If we take smaller samples, then we can see that our margin of error and our confidence interval are getting larger. Remember what the central limit theorem showed us. As we take larger and larger samples, then our distribution of sample means, or our distribution that we get, tends to be more and more narrow. And so the same fact is going to be true here. If we have smaller samples, then we're going to have more variation in those samples, and therefore we're going to have a larger confidence interval, a larger margin of error. If we increase our sample size, then our margin of error and our confidence interval will start to shrink because our distribution around our estimate is smaller and smaller. All right, guys, that does it for this look at how varying the parameters of confidence level and sample size affect our confidence intervals and margin of error. Until next time, catch you in a future video.